Greetings YouTube. Today is October 17th, 18th, I think it's 18th. It's a Monday. The year is 2021. And I am on my way to work. It's 57 degrees Fahrenheit. So I've got on my traditional climb jacket. All the vents are open, but I'm fine. I got my heated grips, got my heated seat. Jacket really protects from the wind. The vents kind of screw it up, but I got the windshield up, so. As you can see, I'm on my way to work. Again, I said that. Sorry, repeat. Thought I'd record. I've got a little bit of uh, extra holder thing on this camera so that it doesn't face downward too much. So now I think it might be facing upward too much. We'll get it right. So today, I think I'll talk about danger. That seems to be a running theme lately, so... If you watch my videos, you know that when I'm on trips especially, I tend to go, you know, fast in the twisties. You know, for especially for a bike of this nature. I go fast and I scrape a lot because I'm leaning hard over and on the Kawasaki uh, you know I go what I would consider to be real fast not really fast but actual fastness where uh, it's almost like like the uh, the theory of relativity when they say an object if you were in a in a spaceship going the speed of light or near the speed of light not the speed of light but near you would get this kind of a tunnel vision well that kind of happens when you're going really fast on a motorcycle imagine in a car too but i haven't done it in the car but when you're doing 152 miles an hour you, you're just looking straight ahead everything else is a blur things come up on you way faster than you can react to I don't do 152 all the time as a matter of fact I only did it once and that was the last time I went that speed I never I haven't gone over that speed I'll, I'll wait till I get to a drag strip or something to, to attempt that but I think in general and you'll notice this too on my On my most recent road trip with Moose, oops, I scraped. I'm trying not to scrape. Anyway, on my recent mo uh, road trip with Moose, for the most part, I was uh, very, very safe. I didn't ride too fast. I didn't have any close calls, except for the Devil Switch. And even then, it wasn't really close calls. It was, you know, I levered the bike off the road a couple times, but it was just for a millisecond. And I was able to recover immediately, so... I wasn't pushing it way too far. But far enough to be dangerous. So I decided... Given the fact that my eyesight is not so hot anymore, and uh, my reaction time, I've noticed it's diminished. and the fatigue and all this. I think I'm, I'm really gonna dial it back, especially on the road. I'm gonna try to dial it back because I, I get the, the feeling from my, my friends and my, my longtime viewers, I get the feeling that they think I'm headed to a bad end. Moose has said it. Oh, GB winging at Gil kinda hinted at it 
so if the world around you says, hey, you know, I think you got a problem, then I think you got a problem. So I got a problem. I have to dial it back. So I will. Not as much on the Goldwing because I'm already pretty staid on the Goldwing, pretty calm. On the Cowie though, I really have to pick and choose my, my moments to go real speedy. I have to do it in non-traffic areas, I have to do it in non-residential areas, and I've done pretty well, except there have been a few times where I was having a bad day or just needed to bust out, you know. And I ended up doing like 81 and a 45 or something. People didn't like that, so uh, I'm going to work on it. You know, the skills development is not only becoming a more technical aggressive faster leaning more kind of rider skills is also being more responsible more safe more careful more precise and I think that's important so I need to develop that skill a little bit more especially with the changing condition of my eyesight So uh, in future videos, you'll see me doing, well, look at, look at, look at I'm doing 55. <laughs> oh, lower than 55 now. So not too bad, not too shabby. I'm not going to be Mr. Speed Limit all the time, mind you, but I'm, I think I'm going to try to do a little bit better than I have, especially on road trips. If I go to a twisty road, I'm really going to try not to go nuts. I think I've had my fill of that. I need to just take a chill pill as the old folks used to say as I head to school all right it's my Kelly 7 I'll talk to you later